Dave, great to have you back. Um, and, and I really want to check in on, I mean, you guys are in, in a, a space that we were just talking to Byron Dieter about, where you're making sense of all kinds of cloud resources, public and private, for customers. How is demand holding up? Your, your net dollar retention rate seems to be high. How much more are customers demanding from you these days? Uh, thanks, John. Great to be with you. I think, as you said, we, we we had a strong quarter in the first in the fourth quarter of last year. But we're really just part of this sort of long-term secular trend towards cloud, and, and the enabling role we play is a pretty profound one. So, I think we're we're we're, we're super optimistic about sort of the role we play. I think our, our core thesis years ago was that cloud is just an inevitability for every company, and multi-cloud in particular, which is the inevitability. And so, you know, I think we feel pretty good about it. I, you know, again, these are these are long-term secular trends. You can see the scale of the cloud vendors and as they continue to grow, you can see, you know, that market's growing uh, fairly robustly and, and we're, we're pleased to be part of it. So, you know, you know the, the, the customer side of it tends to be, um, you know, people making the conceptual decision that they're going to move to cloud and these are long burn uh, sort of transformational projects that evolve over multiple years. So, you know, I think we were pleased with where things were in the fourth quarter and I think we're optimistic about where the market goes from here. He was asking just about the sort of the R&D hiring side and then the sales engagement side. So on the R&D hiring side, yeah, I mean, I think we're in a fortunate position. I think we had well over 100,000 job applicants last year. So we certainly are a recipient of a lot of the, the, the mobility that's happening in the, in the, uh, in the hiring market. And I think we, we, we operate at sort of the cutting edge of building distributed systems. And that's just fundamentally appealing to the engineering organization type folks that we, that we attract. So um, while the market's certainly competitive, I think we, we've been really a, a recipient of, of, of sort of some of the mobility that you see in the market. Um, on the, on the go-to-market side, yeah, it's actually a super interesting environment. I think on, on the one side, you've got sort of this coming out of COVID and people going back to work. Um, and then you've got, which is a natural sort of accelerant to our ability to engage. And then the other side, you've got sort of growing uncertainty around rates and everything else. I think, I think you know, we haven't really seen that much of a change, to be truthful. I think uh, the the reality is that these, you know, these these transformational projects people are involved in around building new things on cloud uh, are not short-term decisions people are making. I think, and as a result, they're sort of, you know, they move a little bit like the Mississippi uh, is the phrase we like to use. And uh, I think we haven't seen that really change, you know, just some gives and takes, but ultimately not, not really change. I think the thing that's really most notable to us is that when people are adopting cloud, it's sort of a it's sort of a one way door, so to speak, in terms of their 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 decision criteria. So these tend to be deeply considered decisions that once made are, are not easily undone. I think that is probably the biggest uh, sort of element of, of our go to market model that is just a reality. You know, good news, bad news is you know people take considered decisions. You know, good news. So that's something that takes longer for making for making that decision. But but, but you know, good news is they they're, they're pretty profoundly durable. Uh, and my apologies, Dave. That was my own personal audio problem. Everybody <laughs> yeah, no else, problem. everybody else, uh, was fine. Uh, I want to ask you about M and A, and to what degree do you see opportunity there? And to what degree do you think consolidation is going to be an important part of this enterprise software market over the next 12 to 24 months? Yeah, I think I might, my guess is you'll probably see a, a bunch of M&A activity from the larger companies in the world, um, just just sort of as multiples have compressed in the in, in the public markets. Um, you know, if I were in the corporate groups, I would certainly be uh, more active. But I think, but I think in the private markets, you know, those valuations haven't really haven't really been impacted yet. So I think it's you know my gut tells me it's less likely there. But but you know have to have to wait and see. And I think. These markets we participate in are so large that that um, you know they are you know I'm sure larger companies will will, will be looking at the moments where multiples are compressed. But you know, from from our perspective, you know I think we're you know we, we are playing in these really really enormous infrastructure markets. You know I think one of the things that that we shared in our last earnings call is we actually only we 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 added our first ten million dollar annual ARR customer, which is sort of indicative of the scale of the markets that we participate in. And I think. Um, you know, those of us that are sort of well-funded and, and you have the eye on the prize, uh, we're all going to keep doing what we're doing. 